In this video, I'll show you how to import and use Substance Designer materials straight in Unreal 5. The first step is to install the Substance plugin for Unreal, so search for that. Click on the Adobe link. This is going to take you to the Unreal website. And then from here, you can add it to your library and then see it in your launcher. In your launcher, it's going to show up under your Fab library. You might have to refresh for it to show up. And then you're going to click to Install to Engine. After that, in Unreal, you want to go to Edit, Plugins, and then look for the Substance plugin. And then you want to make sure that you enable that. It's going to ask you to restart Unreal, so do that. Once you have restarted Unreal, you should now be able to just import Substance materials. So let's go ahead and do that. So what you want to import is the Substance Archive file, or the SBSAR file from Substance. Drag that into the folder that you want it to go in. And the window is going to show up asking you to create the material and a template. In my case, I don't want to create any material, so I'm just going to disable that. So I'm going to create my own and then reference the uh, textures out of the uh, substance material. So let's import that. What you'll see is that this is going to import the textures all separately, as well as the substance file and the um, substance graph. The substance graph file is the one that has uh, all your parameters that you may have exposed in Substance Designer. So what I'll do is I'm going to make a new master material. And then in here, I'm basically just going to connect the uh, textures just like you would any other material. So I'll connect the ambient occlusion. the base color and this is going to be my master material so I do want to convert things to parameters so that I can just use it as a as an instance later on in the case that you want to use multiple different materials this is the height map I'll show you how to do that if you want to use tessellation on your material going to be converting converting these two parameters so now that I have all my materials I can save this and I'm going to create a, an instance material call this material instance And then in this instance, I'm going to reference the master material that I just created. And as you can see, my parameters are enabled here. So I can, if I want to import a different material, I can come in here and replace the uh, base color, metallic roughness and ambient occlusion, which I did not expose. So let me go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and apply the material to a few meshes here. And as you can see now, we have our material on our model. And with Substance, because we have imported this as a Substance graph, we can come in here and change some of the parameters that we exposed. So I can start to mess with some of the settings and parameters on my graph. Anything that I exposed in Substance Designer, I can change here just like you would in, say, Substance. Now, the only thing that we are missing right now is the height map. As you can see right now, it's uh, mostly a flat material with our normal map applied on it. If you want to enable height, the height map, we can open back our master material. And in here, click on the material, look for nanites. We want to make sure that you enable nanite tessellation and then that's going to open up our displacement map here so i can connect this i'm going to convert this to a parameter as well and if you click on your material and look for displacement you can change the amount that you want this to displace so let's set this to something like 10 for now save it 
And as you can see now, there should be some displacement going on. This is a little difficult to see with this one, so let's go ahead and increase the amounts. There we go. So it's a lot stronger now. We can see it a lot better. And this is how you can pretty much use any substance material that you make in Substance Designer and that you have exposed parameters on. This is how basically you can import them into Unreal and use them with the parameters enabled. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you are interested in this material in particular and other materials as well, I'll leave some links in the video description where you can get pretty much all my stylized materials that I make. There's new materials being created weekly, so you can always check those out. Once again, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you